Hello, the game is Hordes.io, a free-to-play web browser game. Um, pretty, pretty fun. I've been having a lot of fun with it, so I just wanted to give a quick review, or, I'm sorry, not a review. I did the review in my last video, so if you want to see my review, look at that video. I have a little bit more knowledge, I'm a little bit more familiar with the game now. Um, so I wanted to give more of a, uh, like, a how to, how to get started, right? So you're, you're starting a game, what do I do? I don't know what I do. Um, don't want you getting frustrated and running off. So I'll make it easy for you. I'll explain everything for you um, as best I can with the limited knowledge that I've gotten over a couple of days. Um, just to help you get going and get familiar with the game. So the the very first thing. This game is a, I guess it's a massive multiplayer. There's a lot of people on it. Um, there's one server. Everybody's on the same server. You don't pick a server. Um, there is two factions. One is the Vanguard, which is what I'm on. It's the blue faction. Um, it's more swords, sorcerers, knights, um, kings, what have you. Um, type, uh, think alliance from World of Warcraft, right? This would be alliance. The other one is the Bloodlusts or as they call them, the BL. We're the VG, they're the BL. Vanguard and Bloodlust. They're more tribal, and they're red. So think of uh, the Horde from World of Warcraft. Um, and that, they're the two factions. There's really not a difference between them. They're both about populated the same. Um, they're, you know, both of them have guilds up on the leaderboards. Both of them have people up on the leaderboards. Um... I, I really don't think there's any kind of balance issues or anything like that that I can see. Um, so, yeah, just pick whichever faction you'd like the color. I mean, it really just comes down to, are you a role player? Do you want to have uh, lawfulness or do you want to have, you know, tribal anarchy, you know, if you're a role player? Um, <clears throat> um, so, moving on from there, we got classes. Got four classes. I'm not going to go into a whole class breakdown in this because that would be the whole video, and I want to try to keep this one short. My last one, I was trying to do like 10 15 minutes, I went an hour and a half in my other video. So, if you want to see a lot of gameplay and grouping and stuff like that in my other video, just check that out. It's like an hour and a half long, hour 20 minutes, something. Um, so, classes there's four classes. Um, you have a tank, which is a warrior um, who does like AoE taunts for mobs. Um, they do like AOE swipes to maintain aggro and do damage. Um, they're actually pretty good damage, uh, doers themselves. Um, even though they're tanky, which surprised me. Um, <clears throat> they're halfway decent chasers in PvP because they got that charge. Um, so they're good in PvP and PvE. And a, a good tank will, in PvP, I found, will decimate. If they have a team of DPSers, uh, focusing on whatever the tank gets on, and you got healers healing the tank, uh, it, it can be pretty devastating. So it's very, um, the, the the design of the PvP and the PvE in this game, very impressed for a little cutesy browser game made of little block people running around. <laughs> it's, it's it's all cutesy and rob, robloxy, but um, the mechanics are there. It's, it's legit. Um, excuse me, I have to cough. <coughs> Still fighting that cold that I got over um, from Christmas, so forgive the uh, occasional cough as I'm talking. It's drying my throat out a bit. Um, yeah, so tank uh, shaman is the healer class. They're doing heals. They're doing more regenerative healing. They have a regen spell, uh, so it's not like casting heal bombs. Um, you're you're throwing regens on them. Um, I think I think that keeps the PvP a little more balanced because. Uh, you know, it gives people a chance to, to die, basically. It doesn't make people invincible. Um, same with mobs. Um, they can do a little bit of DPS. They don't have any AoE, and they're not good chasers at all. Um, they do, they are good runners. They have a travel spell that lets them run fast, turns them into a cute little worm, and they can book it if they need to. Um, but they're not, you know, once you cast a spell, that gets disrupted, so they're not good, um... They're not good runners, um, or chasers, I mean, in PvP. Uh, their dots do snare, so they're nice to throw a dot on somebody who's trying to run and snare them. 
Um, but they're they're a very unique class. They can summon everybody in your group to them, which is nice of keeping the group together. And when you're fighting stuff and somebody dies, or you got a new person joining your party, you just boom, you you are the heart of the group as the healer of the shaman. So if you love support, you're gonna love shaman in this group because um, they're they're definitely wanted. Um, and then you have your two DPS classes. So you have the archer, which is more single target. They do have a little bit of AOE. They're their arrow bounces around to a few targets. Uh, more targets, the higher it goes. Um, but they are very good single target DPSers, and they are very good chasers. So if somebody's running away, or they want to single target somebody in PvP, um, I keep saying running away. So you got to picture PvP happens in like groups. Like we'll have a group like this of ten or twenty people, and then they'll have a group of ten or twenty people, and it. it it reminds me of Dark Age of Camelot in that aspect. Is if you go out on your own, you're going to get housed. Like you're going to have three or four people just branch off and and run you down. You, you really, uh, you're. It's much better to fight as a group. Oh my God, these guys are turning into the popcorn. Um, let me get in on this. Yeah, King of the Hill, King of the Hill, King of the Hill, King of the Hill. Oh, what happened? I warped out. King of the Hill. Anyway, all right, sorry, getting distracted. I I love cutesy shit like this when people are just, you know, we don't know each other. We just all think this is funny. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, God, it's like trains in, in classic uh, WoW, you know, where people just started doing, uh, walking around in a line in Iron Forge or something. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So classes. Yeah, where were we on? Archer. <laughs> um, we were on Archer. Um... Uh, yeah, so I think I went over them pretty well. They're they're a single target, a little bit of AOE damage. They're pretty good. It's one of the more popular classes, I think, because uh, this is an archer right here firing. I think they're a little more popular because in PvP you do get you are like a chaser, so you get the feeling of getting the kill. You know what I mean? Versus like a tank who is more reliant on his team. You know what I mean? He can go in, he can get that kill, he can chase, but. Um, He's more reliant on uh, his team. A healer is more reliant on his team. Uh, a mage is not as much as a chaser. They're they're great damage. They do just as much damage, almost as much damage single target as an archer. But they don't have a lot of chasing abilities. They got one little blink ability that lets them move forward. Um, that's on a little bit of a longer cooldown. They have a lot of AOE though, so you get a mage come up. You get a couple mages, they'll wreck a whole group. Like you get, you get. I don't know how many mages it would take to decimate it, but you get a coordinated attack on a mage come up. They they can wipe all these people out with their AOE. Um, so mages are very devastating. Also, their single target snares, and after I think like four hits, it stuns them for two seconds, which is devastating. So you're trying to run away, and a mage is bolting you. And bolting it, you're going slower, and you're poof, you're locked up. And when you get stunned, you take like 50% more damage. So, if you got people on you, you're done. You just get dropped. Um, but this, the like the leaderboards doesn't does not. Um, well, I don't want to get into PvP yet. I'll just say that you don't get kills, you get fame. So leaderboards are top fame. So even though like archers are better at running the guy down and getting the kill. Everybody gets that fame that was helping with that, so uh, I do like that. So um, it's 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 a group effort, is what I like. So the classes are good. I think I spent way too much time on the classes. Um, let me go over the starting area and what you'll need to know to get going. Um, so this is the beginner area for this faction. Here's the map. It's a little town here. The opposing faction, not that far away. You can run right across here and get right to them if you wanted to. You don't have to go all the way around the map. Um, so we'll get into NPCs in the starting area that you need to familiarize yourself with. Training dummy to test your DPS. You can hit that, go up here, DPS meter, and you can test out what spells are giving you the best DPS. You got single target dummy over here. You got multiple targets to test out your AoEs. Um, good to just kind of get a feel for your spells and learn the different spell abilities. Your trader is your general merchant. He's going to sell your pots and your mana pots and hit point pots. Very important to have them on your bars at all time. The best you can have. You won't buy these from him. You'll get them as drops. They drop so frequently you'll have an overabundance of them. 
even if you're slamming them constantly. Um, they this vendor also sells every class is level one. So it, each 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 ability or spell. I'm just gonna call them spells because that's what they are. Every class has spells. Their abilities are spells. Everything uses mana. Every class uses mana. Um, <clears throat> Level one, this vendor sells them all. There's a few he doesn't sell, you'll find out there. I think mostly like your group group buffs he doesn't sell. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but your all your primary fighting abilities and healing abilities, you're going to find that he sells. There are some that early drop early, but you have to learn level one before you can level, learn level two. You have to learn two before you can learn three. So you must, you're going to wind up buying all these eventually. Um... He also sells a couple mounts, the Grubbling mount, Spider mount, um, a saddle chest mount. I might buy that because I have some of them extras. Uh, mount riding level 1, 20 gold. Not too hard to get, I don't think, as long as you're looting stuff. I mean, I buy my dude armor all the time, and I still have... I got four guys that I equip with armor. I'm, I'm at 13 gold at level 25. I'd imagine if I had one character... And I wasn't twinking all the characters. So like, this is some of the stuff that I found. I just keep in here. Um, anyway, kind of getting ahead of myself. Um, yeah, so this is the this is the traitor. Um, this is a guard. Guard Jamie. Keeps everybody safe. Um, the merchant is like your auctioneer. So this is where you're going to go in. You want to twink your guy out. You got a little extra money. You want some swords for your warrior. You got white quality. You got green quality. You got blue quality. Now, the prices are very low. I mean, four silver for a level five blue, get the blue. You know what I mean? If you can afford it, get the blues. Um, if you can't, get the greens. Not a big deal. I would. I try to blue up on every single slot. Like, as I... Um, these these have, like, um, how it works is they have different stats. Um, but I think potato is level two. So this is your chest armor. So... I really didn't want to get into gear here. I'll just cover a little bit since we're in the auction house. All level two is going to be called potato sack. But there's going to be potato sack um, greens, whites, blues, and purples. Any purples in here? Yeah, so, there's, so somebody wants 40 silver for level two, you know, epic. So if you're twinking, you'll probably grab that. You know, it's not a big deal to spend 40 silver on your little twink. <coughs> Maybe even you want to do like some, you want to, what they'll do is they'll twink themselves up and buff themselves up with some uh, buddies and they'll come over here and just, you know, they'll wreck some low level dudes is one of the things I see some people doing once in a while. But even they get wrecked, people join gang up on them and they, they get wrecked. So, I mean, you can only, you can only get away with that so much, but I imagine that's pretty fun when you're in game and have a bunch of money to spare, twink up a little lobby and go fight some lobbies. Go decimate lobies. That's that's fun in any PvP game. Um, so yeah, you can you can sell. Uh, let me show you an example to sell. You can just shift um, to sell in the merchant or sell in an auction house or anything. Shift right click will automatically put it over there. Now you can see I, I put a book. It automatically went to books. I could put in if I wanted to know a specific thing. I could put in the name. I could even put in the requires level seventeen. So we can see how much um, these are all 17 spells. So what are what's Poison Arrow level two going for these days? Do 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 do. Did you see it? I didn't see it yet. Ah, right there. Six silver. Nothing. Pretty much nothing. So nice little auction house. Um, you can view, search your items, what you have for sale, so you can see what you're selling. Whatever you sell, the money goes right into your stash. Stash box is right next to the guy. This has all the items that you want to put in here. It stores your gold. <coughs> Excuse me. You can up, upload or you can uh, deposit or withdraw your coins. Um, just You want to keep your coins in here because when you die in PvP, your coins do get taken from you. So you want to have as few coins on your person as possible. You don't want to be carrying that around. I think it's a percentage of... Oh, there's a GM. One of the, one of the guys who run the thing. Um, yeah, so... Let me see if I have it in here. I 
Uh, I, I died as soon as I logged in. Some it's like I logged out where I was leveling. So as soon as I logged in, some guys ganked me. And I lost some fame and some coin. Not a big deal. Um, so anyway, on to the next guy. We got the king. I'm assuming you can raid him or the other team can raid him. Uh, the blacksmith is where you can upgrade. Um, you get shards that drop. And then you can take your items and pop them in here. And it tells you it costs a lucid rune and one silver 20 copper to upgrade it. When you upgrade it, it'll give you a plus one, which increases all the stats. So every stat it, that's on that item will get it bumped a little bit. You can go one, two, three, four. Um, level one is going to cost one lucid rune, which drops when you fight mobs. They, they drop the uncommonly, I would say. Um, but enough, I have like 50 of them in my chest. Um, and then next time you upgrade, it's going to be like two runes and three something silver. And then next time you upgrade, it's going to be like three runes plus the next level rune that drops off higher level mobs. Um, so I imagine as you go up, to pump the stats of your gear up, the better it is. Um, on my other guy, I have all blues, and I decided to just go ahead and pump them all up to level two. It was worth it. He's like level twenty-five. Figured it'll take a take a little bit. Plus, uh, one thing I wanted to mention with gear, it's good to invest in your gear because you can you can resell it later. So it's not nothing here is bind on equip. So go into the auction house, spend your money on your gear, and even if you want to, blow some coins on the on the on the pluses because that's going to sell for more anyway. There's going to you know if somebody has a wooden mallet and a little bit more, you got a wooden mallet plus one. I mean that's worth at least ten silver for the rune, plus a silver or two for the uh, um you know to upgrade it. So it's going to sell for a little bit more. Um, you can resell everything or do it like I do and just drop it in your vault or in your stash and use it for your alts. I do that a lot of time too. It's all, it's all interchangeable pretty much. Um, you know, as long as it doesn't have primary stats and stuff. So anyway, that's the blacksmith. That's what he does. He upgrades. The sage is your reset. So if you mess up on your skill points, you can always reset your skill points. I have no idea if that costs more after you use it once. And then the conjurer will take you to different maps. So this gives me a good leeway into the map. So when you're when you're level one through twenty five, this is the beginner map. When you're level twenty five, you go to headless. Twenty five to thirty five, I assume, um, and then it brings you to this one. Um, Favel, Favel, I'm assuming. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, is level 35 to probably 45. They all are about as big as this. Um, I have only been to Headless so far. I don't have a 35 character yet. Um, but basically, you start out in a little camp. You're over here. These guys are over here kind of thing. It's more direct. Like, I could run directly over to their camp in the next map. But it has the same thing. It's kind of like a loop that goes around. And as you go down this way, the mobs get higher. And as they go this way, I think the mobs get higher. And there's some like key points with bosses. Um, I haven't explored that map, um, the headless map. But I will go over this map a little bit. Um, so this is the starting area for Vanguard. This is starting area for the Bloodlust. Um, as you go out, this is their newbie area, I would say. Levels 1 through 6. Well, actually, 1 through 6 is here for this area. This is like... 8 through 10, this is like 9 through 12, this is 12 through 13, I think, right here, coming out this way. Going up in here, this is called the mines. This is a, this is a one-way entrance. This is the entrance to the mine, and you go all the way up this path, and this is the mine right here. So mobs spawn here, 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 little groups of mobs all the way up. You can exit the mines by jumping off. Right, actually, right here, you come up here and you just jump off and you land here. You, so you can exit mines that way. Um, <clears throat> so this this is like 15, and it goes like up to 16-ish, I think. So um, as you go out, you know, you're going level 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. You're going in here. You're probably, well, you're hitting here at like 15, 16, and then you're like 19, 20 by the time you're done with it. You probably want to go over to the central point. So if you look, their path comes this way into the mines. 
the Vanguard's path comes this way into the mines, but there's a central part that goes up this way. It also funnels up into here, and then you have the highest level mobs on this map are right here, and then they have a path that comes up this way, and we have a path that comes up this way. So there's a lot of PvP that happens here um, where they come up and they're fighting. Basically, when you're in the newbie areas like here, and here, you're not going to see too much P. You're really not. They're, they're almost safe zones. There's just not a lot of people coming in and they're fighting. Because they have their own side. Why would they come and contest your mobs and waste their time fighting with you unless they wanted to PvP? So where you're going to start running into them is here. This is where you're first going to start seeing a little bit of PvP. Where these guys are kind of fighting over this way and your guys are fighting over that way a little bit. You're going to start seeing it a lot in here. Usually... Usually if one person, if you got a group here, the other group's going to be like, nah, that's already taken. So usually you're not fighting a lot in here unless you're trying to take it over or take it from them. It's either empty or some, one, of the, one of the factions got it. Either your group already has a group there or their groups already have group. Their faction already has groups there. And it can support multiple groups. You can have a group here. You could have, there's enough mobs for like a full group of 10 here, a full group of 10 here, a full group of 10 here, and a full group of 10 here. So there's there's enough for groups. And if your faction is owning this, it's going to be very hard for just a single group to come up in here. But if you only have one group, they could come in here and push you out if they were better than you. Where they catch you. Thing is, they get the advantage, right? You're fighting mobs. So you guys are already, your healers are already stressed. Your DPS is already stressed. Your tank is already stressed fighting mobs. They come up, they got the advantage. You always have the advantage ganking the team that is doing the fighting. But, I mean, it's pretty easily countered as long as you're aware. If you see them coming, you can kind of back off the mobs a little bit. Um, anyway, I don't want to get into PvP tactics. That's the map. I think it's put out pretty well. I had a lot of fun learning it. Um, just don't worry about learning any specifics. You're just going to go and go to where the mobs are. You're going go to go to wherever your group is. That's all you got to do. Hit the party finder, go to wherever your group. And that's a good lead way into what do you do? So you're level one. You just started. What do you do? Come over here. Talk to the trader. You can't buy any spells. You don't got no money. So you come out here. And I think you'll have one spell on you. Come out here and whack a couple of these little level one dudes. Kill them. Grab anything that's on the ground. You'll see. Look at this stuff. You'll just see loot laying on the ground. Actually, let me, uh, I guess that's first first thing about fighting is looting. So let's get into looting first. Um, loot is 2D. As you can see, it's like just 2D images that lay on the ground. You can hit shift and it'll show you all the loot. So you got copper, mana potions. This is seven copper. Somebody else owns this for two, three seconds. Now I can grab it. So loot is protected for a limited time. By whoever killed the mob, whoever owns it. But after I think 20 or 30 seconds, you can grab it. It's free. You're allowed to take it. You know, if they didn't, if they didn't bother with it while they were killing, it's tough on them. Uh, I mean, you could be a little more generous than that. You know, don't don't come out to a group who's busy fighting 20 mobs and grab their loot. But when you're walking around this little lobby area, there's a lot of loot people don't care about. I don't care about this low-level stuff. Feel free to grab it, in my opinion. Like, if it's available, just grab it. I wouldn't stalk it. I wouldn't stalk a certain group. But if you just see stuff laying around out here like this, and when it's grayed out like that, look at that. There's a blue right there. Clink. That was nice. I should probably drop that. That was probably his. <laughs> He's probably like, did you stole my blue? Did you stole my blue? But, um, yeah, he don't care. He's 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 running around. There's all kinds of stuff. So my advice is when you come out here and you're level one, just run out here and grab your stuff. Just try not to get killed by the mobs that aggro on you. Just walk around, grab it. Oh, look at that, I'm filled up. I'll go back, I'll sell all this to the merchant. No problem. And I'll have a little bit for my spells. <coughs> That's my first little tip for you. Just run out and grab all the loot real quick. Get some potions. You might even find some spells that you need. Um... Get some coins. But yeah, loot disappears after like three minutes, so don't don't feel too bad. It's not gonna sit there forever. You're you're just cleaning up the server if somebody didn't grab it. Um, but like I said, if there's a group of people fighting, you know, yeah, give them give them a chance to loot it. Just don't go jack their stuff. See how it blinks too. When it's blinking, that means it's gonna disappear soon. 
Well, actually, I think that means I'm incorrect about that. Look, it means protection's about to go off soon. That's weird. I thought when it blinked, it, mean, it meant it was about to disappear. Yet yeah, this is blinking and it's still protected. Hmm, I'll have to test that out. Let's go see. This is blink. Oh, no, nope, just disappeared. Maybe it blinks until it disappears. Yeah, a little wooden, green wooden sword. If you're a warrior and you just got that, that's upgrade, baby. There you go. Very easy to get loot when you're starting out like that. And, um, you come out here and you kill, you'll level up real fast. Um, I would take all your stuff, sell it. Uh, just shift and click. So shift and right click. Boom, 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 boom. Blues I would sell in the auction house. Greens I sell, me personally, I sell greens to the merchant. They're not, to me, they're not worth selling on the auction house. They sell almost barely over what the merchant will give you. It's not even worth your time. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you don't have a subscription and you're just starting out trying a game, you're only going to have 10 items that you can sell in the auction house anyway. So save those for blues. That's my tip, uh, tip there. Um, just going to give you an example. So shift, right click. It tells me, let's see, cloth mitts are level 9 and they're going for 8 silver. Not a lot of hand wraps in here. So hand wraps doing pretty good. Somebody must have bought out the hand wraps. So I'm going to just undercut him. The lowest one here is at 12. I'm just going to be like 11, 11 silver, 90. And, you know, 100 copper is 1 silver. So for 11 cop, eleven silver, 90 copper is 1,090. It's a very small fee for the auction house. You get 12 hours if you're free, 24 hours if you're paid. That money will go straight to your bank. All right, so... You came out here, you did a quick little loot run, you're level 1, maybe level 2 or 3 because you mangled some mobs. If you are level 2 or 3, get your spells. You got some coins now, go buy some spells from uh, your next level spells, see what you got, what class you got. You know, if you were a mage, you want to look at your mages, okay, what do I got? Oh, there's level 1, I want that, level 3, I want that. Level 5, I'll take that. Level 5, I'll take that. Yeah, leave the level 13s and stuff for later. Just buy what you can afford, put it in your pack, head on out. If you have enough money after doing that to go to the auction house, first thing I would buy, a pouch. It adds bag slots. Um, so this one adds four bag slots to your space. And if you're not a subscriber, you're going to have you know, less space than I'm showing here. Probably half of what I have. So that helps. That helps a lot to have that uh, extra inventory space for loot. Um, come out here, fight, get a couple levels. I, I almost say uh, immediately start looking for a group. Uh, best way to find a group is not going, hey, I'm looking for a group level two. You most likely aren't going to find anybody to do that. You might, you might be able to run up to him and be like, hey, you want a group, buddy? But uh, most likely nobody's going to have time for that. What you want to do is hit party, create a party. Now you are the party leader. Now you can click on Sergio. Why, why, why do that, Sergio? Twenty nine, forty nine. I don't know. There you go, pizza eater. That's a cool dude. Anybody who likes pizza is cool by me. Um, click on him. Click on his name. Party invite. You can also slash party invite space and then type whatever names you want to start uh, inviting people to your party um if you click the chat you can see party leave party invite party create die which is like a suicide and then all your chats and that's your tell slash player name is your tell um so however you want to set your chat you want to talk in global you want to talk in party you can just click it like that or you can slash party and now you're talking in party chat so um you can invite people yourself if you have friends, but most likely you're just trying it out. So what do you do? Hit the uh, find party. So what this is going to do is scan for party leaders who have this set for searching for players and then align you with people close to your level. So I'm level 23, so it might put me with 18s. It might put me with 25s. There we go. Found one that quick. And why am I the leader? Put me as the leader. That was weird. So it must have merged parties. Maybe it thought I was in a party. So you're in a party. What do you do now? Look at the map. 
see where they're at. So red dots are enemies, purple dots are other faction, and as you can see, they're in the mines. So they're up in here in the midpoint of the mines, fighting probably level 16-ish guys. And they're all, what are they, 19, 16, 16, 16, 17, 17, 20. So I look like I'm the elder here. Um, shows their classes. So they have a shaman, a shaman. So they can summon me if they want. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that's how you do that. Then you just go to them. You ask them for a summon, they'll summon you. Or just run up to them, start fighting, get XP, have fun, uh, maybe run into some PvP, maybe your group will change directions, they'll be like, let's, let's get some fame, let's go PvP and let's kill them, you know, whatever, just go with it, have fun, uh, communicate, stick together is the key thing, that's a cool looking map. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for partying, you know, you're just, you're just grouping together and and killing stuff. Maybe I can ask him for a summon and show you what party looks like. Um, so I'll get into leveling up and stats. Yeah, see, so he's he's summoning me, and poof, it's a great way to keep your group together. Oh, look, there's a all, uh, level 45 player. He can't attack us, he's too high. I'm just gonna drop a healing totem down. There we go. Drop that down for my boy. Oh my god, look at all this loot. Guys, loot something, will ya? Oh my god. That's probably level 45. It's probably farming. Somebody's looting it. Oh, it all disappeared. Look at it. All that loot just disappeared. That's what I'm telling you. Like, don't... Don't... What is all this stuff? What is he doing? He's dropping blues on the ground. Like, you don't care. I just looted all that stuff. It didn't even roll. Usually when you click on a blue, um, it'll roll to the group. Like, if the group owns it, it'll, um, it'll say, uh, sorry, got distracted. Um, if there's loot on the ground, a drop from a mob that's blue or better quality, and you click it, it goes into a roll. Same thing with the upgrade uh, crystals or shards or whatever they are. Um, you click on it, it'll it'll roll. And I think whoever clicks on it rolls. Like you, when you click on it, you're not rolling it for the whole group. You're looting it for yourself. So if nobody else clicks on it, it'll roll and it'll go to you. Um, but how that I just picked all that stuff up means that um, it was just sat there. Nobody even rolled on it, or somebody dropped it, one or the other. God, these guys. I. I can't stand when I'm in groups and nobody picks up all the coin and it just disappears because like that's how I make money that's how I afford to twink my dude got it gotta loot that gold man if, if anything who, like who cares about the loot that you're gonna sell to the vendor at least get the gold that's a waste and uh, gold splits with your group so like when I'm doing this I'm not taking all the gold for myself it'll auto split and go to everybody yeah, that, that's that higher level dude did that. He must be uh, farming. So, um, let me get into skills. Let me throw some heals down for him real quick just because I'm here helping him out a little bit. A uh, little heal circle. Put my mana on for him. And let me go into... So you leveled up. What do you do now? You're level 2. You want to go in and level up your primary stat. How do I? You can hit C, or you can hit character up here. How do I level up? My, how do I know what my primary stat is? I'm a shaman. What's my primary stat? Well, if you hover over the stats, it'll tell you if you add one point, what will it do? Right? So uh, this one will give you one hit point and .05 hit point regen. Um, that's what it does. So you can just hover over to see exactly what the stat does. So you know exactly exactly what you're getting for your for your points and for me when I hover over wisdom see min damage max damage right here min damage max damage goes up that's your primary stat that's gonna be if you don't know what to put it in <coughs> you're not making any specific build you're not making a luck build you're not making a um, who's this guy what's he trying to say to me what you trying to say bro oh do I got global off did he say something to me Please. You talk cross faction, dear global. 
Yeah, he's not saying anything. Uh-oh. It looks like I'm about to die. Now nah, I might be too high for him. Anyway, sorry. I get distracted when I'm in here playing, doing this stuff. Um, yeah, so just hover over it, and it'll tell you what your main stat is. Just put it in that. Just uh, dump everything in your main stat, unless you're looking for a specific build. That's going to increase your damage. Wisdom increases your heals, your haste for shamans. Um, I'm pretty sure heals. Somebody told me heals. Um, so that's what you want to do. And this is your gear right here. This is where your gear goes when you equip it. I need to get out of here or something. I'm like, what's what's my group doing? Did everybody die? Let me summon them just in case maybe they died and I wasn't paying attention. I should probably just leave the group. Yep, that's it. That's Alright, let me let me get out of this group, sorry, because this really just distracted me. I'm getting focused on like what's going on and do I need to heal and let me try to uh leave party. Let me do this. Die. You have died. I lost probably some experience and some points. Alright, so that's grouping. You do that, you go have fun, you kill stuff, the tank tanks, the DPS, DPS, the shamans heal. It's good stuff. Um and yeah, to go back to stats. Uh, hit C and it has everything. This is your equipment. Sorry for repeating myself. Um, spells and abilities. That's the other thing you need to know when you're leveling up. Um, so hit K or you can up here hit skills. K is the shortcut key and it'll show you what, sp what spells you got. It'll show you your skill points. You get a certain amount of skill points per level. So you need to have the level of the spell that you're going to memorize and you need to have the previous level. So, like, if you're trying to memorize level three, but you only have one me memorized or learned, um, you won't be able to learn three until you learn two. Um, so, you need the correct level. You need the previous spell level memorized, and you need a spell point to spend on it. Um, you will, in my experience, I played all four classes. You will be spell point starved at some point. Uh, you will have a list of spells that you can learn, but do not have enough spell points. There's enough spells in the game where you can't have them all immediately when they're available. So you have to pick and choose. Um, I kind of spread it out a little bit, you know. Um, but, you know, your primary spells are going to be what's important. Your heals, your damage. <coughs> you know, my buffs aren't as important, you know. The fact that I can give everybody a 15 second buff isn't as important. The you know, level 2 summon, you know, great. Maybe, what does it have, a lesser cooldown time? You know, the fact that I can get everybody there, good enough. So you're going to have to pick and choose uh, your own class of what everything is. Man, I made out with the blues there, didn't I? Level 17 is not bad. 2, 5, 2, 11. I wonder why he was just dumping them on the ground like that. Um... So that that's pretty much it. Um, you can buy them very cheap. They sell for almost next to nothing on the uh, auction house merchant. Um, so buy your level ones from the trader. Learn them. Buy your, buy any like I think ten and higher level ones. Level ten and higher level ones are drops. So look for them on here as well. Um, I think they have a list of spells on the website, so if you're curious, if you got them all, just look there. I, I just, you know, if I found a new spell, great. That's how I learned about it. It wasn't a big deal. Spells drop so much, you'll you'll pretty much get them all eventually. Um, and then I guess last but not least is PvP. So, why PvP? I don't know. Because it's fun. But in this game, you get fame. So that's what I was kind of talking about a little bit earlier. You get the, you don't get like I got a thousand kills like a lot of other games do. In this game, it ranks you by your fame. You gain fame by participating in a kill. Um, how much you gain depends on how much the player had when you killed him, um, and it's it gives it to the whole group. I think so. Um, I th I think there might be a cap of like eleven or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if it's higher than 11. I think there's a minimum of three. So even if the guy had like one fame and died, um, everybody's going to get three fame. Um, 
and I'm not sure how much you, you drop. So all that I'm not familiar with. I'm not too familiar with all the PvP, but basically you get fame when you kill people, you lose fame when you die. So in order to be on the top of the leaderboard, you got to be good at killing people and good at not dying. Um, and there's also guild leaderboards and stuff like that, so it can calculate the guild um, uh, as a total. Uh, it's all shared in a group, so if you got an archer running out and chasing somebody down, and a tank running out and chasing somebody down, and you're just a lowly sham and healing, you're still going to get that fame, which I like that. So it's very good. It's very group. Everything is centered around how it will affect the group. Partying, PvP. That's, that's one thing I think I like about this game. I love social grouping games, where it's better to group than it is to solo. There's more. There's no downside to grouping. That's the way it should be, in my opinion. Um, it's actually funny. I'm, I'm playing this game for two or three days now, and I'm starting to see people that I've seen before. Like I remember him when he was ten. Uh, me and my kid were playing, and he was in one of our groups, and now he's 32. So it's just you start seeing the same people occasionally here and there, and that's pretty neat. You're starting to learn the community. Um, I think that's about everything. Um, oh, when you're in a party, I didn't show you, but <clears throat> your experience increases and your item find increases as well uh, when you're in a party. Um, uh, what else? Let's go through here real quick. Character, skills, that's your inventory, which you can use B for your inventory. That's your guild. Um... DPS meter and your settings. I would look through the settings. Like they have a pretty decent amount of uh, settings in here. Like, um, can you see your damage, your mana? This one I, I recommend. Party mana. Being able to see that bar and see what your party has, how much mana they have, how how stressed on mana are they? Also, are they just sitting there FK, not casting any spells? You'll be able to see that. Um, how many buff slots you want to see? How big your inventory is? How big you want your stash? The look, um, graphics. I turned off grass just because yeah, it wasn't hurting my frame rate. This game runs great, but you know, I just it, why? Why do I want grass blocking everything on the ground? Um, not let me see. I turned my view range practically all the way up. Um, let's see. Yeah. So all that does is, I think default was something like that, but it doesn't doesn't hurt my frame rate even all the way up. I just didn't feel like I needed it that high. I wanted to give it a little bit of fog. Um, controls. Chat lets you filter out what you do and don't want. Do you want to see when you pick up gold? Do you want to see when somebody gains experience? And then audio. I turn the music all the way down. I do that with all games. I don't want to hear game music constantly. I do listen to sound. I don't listen to my own music. I like to be able to hear the sounds of what's going on. And I think last but not least is what what does the game cost? It's free to play. Um, you can buy a subscription, which I like. And the subscription is not OP. It's not pay to win or anything like that. Um, for 900 of these, what do they call them, horde points a month, I think you get... 1300 for ten dollars so this is uh, not a little bit more than half of 13 so six dollars six dollars and fifty cents a month uh, I'm not sure um, seven dollars let's call it seven dollars I'd have to break out a calculator for that one I'm not doing that in my head but for around the seven dollars a month um, you can have a subscription to this game, which gives you no ads, which I think I had an ad blocker. I wasn't seeing ads anyway, because I've never seen any ads. I think something came up here and said, do you have an ad blocker? i seen that one time. You get a little chat supporter icon. So like this dude, you can tell he's a subscription guy. Most, I think, most low-level dudes are not going to be. You can tell, like, people who like the game are like, hell yeah, I'm going to support this game. Um people who are lower levels probably just trying it out or whatever um you get 
25 bag slots instead of 15, which helps a lot. That's 25 bag slots. You can see it's not a lot. That fills up quick while you're out there for an hour fighting or whatever. You get 100 stash storage instead of 15. In my opinion, this is the biggest reason right here. Uh, biggest motivator, because that stash storage is for all your characters. You put something in your stash, any character can get it. So that's why I keep all that stuff in there. Spells and stuff for all my other characters. But when you only have 15 for all of them, oof. That's uh that can be some rough going, but it's a nice uh nice convenience. The hundred merchant limit you get, so you can sell a hundred items on the auction house where you can only sell ten if it's free. Um, I think that's very generous. I I probably don't use any more than ten, um, maybe twenty. You know, so, um, but that's pretty generous. And then they increase your uh, auction house or merchant duration from twelve hours to twenty four hours, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I, I really have been enjoying this game. It's cute. Everybody's a block. I've seen a couple of people's names, like Blockhead and stuff like that. Um, see how he has a crown on his head because he's uh, been PvPing a little bit. I have a bandana on my head because I'm, like, level 1. So something about the bandanas and stuff. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty cute game. Uh, the, the, the thing I like about it is the core mechanics and the group functionality and the PvP. And it's responsive. And I haven't had many glitches. <coughs> Even when they do a server reset, you don't have to log out. It just kind of blinks out for five seconds. And then you come right back and everything's right back the way it was. Um, you know, all the loot disappears. So when you get the warning, server's going to reset. Make sure you loot everything you want to loot if you're out there fighting, but you don't have to log out. It doesn't break your group up, and there, there's no there's no bad thing about it. I really like that. That's the way all games should uh, try to be. But um, <clears throat> I really recommend this game if you like this type of game, you know, grinding out some XP, grouping, and doing a little bit of group PvPing. You can even run around and gank. You know what I mean? There's nothing stopping you. You don't have to have a group. There's nothing stopping you from running around and just ganking some people. You know, one one v one. There's also this queue too, where you can um, queue up for like two v two and four v four. I think. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. But I've never used it, so I'm not big on queues and 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 doing all that. Um, I just like natural PvP and fighting, and uh, just meeting people out in the world and just having it occur naturally. Um, but that's my video. Hope you like it. Um, if you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to, if you would like to see me do a review on the classes and kind of just go over them in more depth of how they play, each one, the warrior, the shaman, the mage, and the archer, let me know. I was thinking about doing that as my next video, but that that is probably going to take a lot of work. Like, I've already recorded this video three times. Uh, one of them was like 30 minutes. It was just too long, and I had to re re record it. And when I went into the group, when I got summoned to show you the group, I got summoned, and it was just so loud. You couldn't hear me talking. I was sitting there talking for 20 minutes, and when I went to go rewatch it just to preview it before I uploaded it, like I, you could not hear anything I was saying. I was like, ah, you ruined my whole video, so... Uh, it takes a lot of time to do these videos. Um, it's just a hobby. So uh, if if you think it would be something you would like to see, let me know. Just leave a comment. I look at the comments, obviously. I don't have a huge following. Uh, I don't have a lot of views. You know, I get the 100,000, 2,000 views on a video. I'm, I'm stoked. Um, but, yeah, just leave a comment if it's something you'd like to see. And uh, I'll, I'll try to get that done. And uh, give me a like if you like this uh, video, if you thought it was helpful, if it helped you understand the game a little bit better. Uh, shoot me a like. I'd appreciate it. It lets me know. And if you don't like it, give me a dislike. No, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be offended. Uh, if you think the video sucks, poof, give me a down vote. I don't care. You know, I'm not here for, uh, this isn't what I do for a living. This is just something I'm doing as a hobby. So, uh, but it, it, it lets me know what you guys do and don't like. Alright, you have a good night. Uh, I'll see you again in another video.